I is for integration, in particular European integration. European integration is a very controversial uh, political and economic phenomenon. It is controversial for a number of reasons. First, it has been associated wrongly, in my view, with the end of the traditional distinction between the left and the right. In fact, contemporary debates on the process of European integration indicate the increasing relevance of ideology and the distinction between the left and the right for our understanding not only of the process of European integration but also the capacities or indeed the limits of the nation state to resolve individual problems or collective problems. European integration is also controversial because it has been associated with the rise of, of a particular kind of Euroscepticism. Euroscepticism that in the case of the UK is associated with a, a pronounced, a very um, firm uh, attempt on the part of Tory Eurosceptics to keep unfettered markets exactly what they were up until now. Despite appearances, membership of the European uh, Union and in direct involvement in the process of European integration uh, has very little to do with the absence of pragmatism. In fact, the exact opposite uh, is true. European integration is to a large extent uh, a pragmatic attempt to resolve uh, problems that uh, uh, concern a number of European countries. Pragmatism is also one of the key characteristics of the British elite. That is the reason why one can expect uh, the UK to remain uh, a member of the European Union.